as Carter Holton gets ready for his first start of the season and great the year before. His first pitch swinging is Gage Mestis on his Friday start. 3-2 pitch. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Fastball blew it by him at 93. Check swing. He went around, says home plate umpire Derek Malika. He's transferred in from Cal State Dominguez Hills. This is bounce. Vastine ranging to his right. Tough play. Fires over in the turf. Picked over at first by Maldonado. And it's a 1-2-3 top of the first for Holton. Combination of guys as they're, you know, who can give you the best uh, offense production. Well, that's a good start for Paddock. He'll take that first pitch swing. It was Bolger right back to the box. 2-2, two -two, laced and in the sun. Losing it over there was the second baseman in Mestis, so that's going to be a single for Austin. Listen, that was blistered. Taking a look, he's got it picked off. Throw to second is in time. 3-2 pitch. Misses outside, ball four. There he goes, it's foul tipped into the mitt. A uh, strikeout for Paddock to end the frame. Are able to do that, RJ Austin in particular. Holton gets his third punch out. Coop is four for nine so far on the season. Foul tips it into the mitt of Espinall, back to back punch outs. Instead he came out of the bullpen, just wasn't quite ready to throw that many pitches as Ratfield tattoos one into center. It is tough to not dive out of the way. This gets by Espinal here, so Ratfield to move up 90 feet. Ratfield at second, 3-2 pitch. Sweeper misses away. Holton in danger of walking back-to-back -back hitters, and he does. Bases full of Bulldogs. Runners will go, 3-2 pitch, grounded. It's gonna get through the 3-4 hole. Two runs are gonna score. How about the nine-hole hitter and Peyton Miller setting the tone here on a Friday night in Music City. 2-0 Gonzaga. And that's another ball that's spiked. Miller's gonna go. Espinal's got a cannon. Throw down the second is in time. What a play. Went down to Broadway, had some lunch, kind of experienced all the honky tonks. I said, you're here, you got to. Davis scorches one to center. This is way back, it is gone. A solo shot from Jaden Davis. A Davis ding dong gets the Vandy boys back within one. That thing got out of here in a hurry. Yeah, I think we'll see a lot of that from Jaden Davis this year. An absolute blast to straight center. A little wind helped a little bit too. Laneve fisted off the hands. It's going to drop in left field. Laneve's got some good speed, but he's going to be content with a bloop single there. Laneve over at first after the single. Bounced over to short. Could be 6-4-3. Trying to turn it are the Bulldogs, and they do. What a big time pitch there from Paddock. So focusing on that plate discipline has been uh, uh, super important for Tim Corbin. Boy, Paddock can't catch a break here on a couple of these. That's another bloop single. Maldonado over at second. Fastine takes low. I'll tell you what, he's seen it well. One run in after the home run by Davis and that change up again to the backstop. Throw down to second, Vastine can scoot. Three, two pitch. Goes back to the changeup and struck him out. Almost out of right field. Looks like a sweeper coming here. And it is, and Stem for the second time, check swung and went around at Gonzaga. She said, Gonzaga means more to our family than anything else, as Holton gets his sixth strikeout. It's a really tough story, and Mark Maktoff talked about it on the phone with me earlier this week, as Colton gets another punch out. 3-2 pitch. Another changeup, misses away. That's a great at bat there by Davis. Grounded, 3-4 hole, and it's through. Davis was thinking third, now slams on the brakes. He's content moving up 90 feet. Crucial 3-1 pitch. Upstairs, ball four. 3-2. Ball four inside. It's a heck of an A-B. I mean, went down 0-2 and is able to work the count and force Paddock to put those balls in the zone. A one. Hit off the knob, and it's bobbled. The tag, it's off the glove. Everybody's safe. Hustling was Maldonado to make it close, and the second baseman there in Mestis could not make the play. The way Commodores are able to manufacture innings. 
Bolger, Sky is one to right. Carrying the warning track, Stem makes the play. It's gonna get the job done though. Diaz gonna come in and score. It's a productive first out of the inning there by Jack Bolger, and that's what he's trying to do, right? Lift the baseball. 1-1, one, one, out to right. Slicing away from the right fielder, but Stem is gonna make the play in fair territory, so it's gonna be another sacrifice fly and another productive out. Now going to second is Vastine. Not a great decision there by Vastine trying to catch the Bulldogs sleeping defensively. Home plate umpire in Derek Malika says the run counts to a fan in that spot. And that's just another ridiculous slider from Holton. Six of his 11 starts last year, he went at least five innings allowing two runs or less as Miller shoots one out to right. And the play is made by Leneve and Vanderbilt, but give the doors a lot of credit last inning as Kozel takes ball four. Those guys under his wing and, and you know, he spent a lot of time with those guys down in the pitching lab. There's a slider there, tough play, five, six hole, good diving play there by Miller. That prevents a run from scoring. Try and get a double play. Oh, two swung on and missed. Makes quick work of Leneve. Just a power fastball up in the zone. Looks like it's traditional signs for the Bulldogs. And that's in the turf, gets by Ratfield. And a run will score. Kozel comes in. It's now six to two. But if he thought it might have just been a fastball, he's going to try and pick it. 2-0. Diaz could be a play at the plate. Running on contact was Espinal. And a nice play there by Hankins, the third baseman, who fires over to Ratfield for the second out. Slider gets away from Ratfield. Boy. 23 newcomers. Some of these guys are playing at the Division One level for the very first time. As Maldonado skies one into the Nashville. Knight Miller calls it and makes the play. Boy. He had to go all the way towards right field to make the play. 1-2. Swing and a miss. 102 upstairs. High heat. Carter with the cheddar. Time. We're on central time. Um, so. Kayla, you may have to call a homer here. It's gone. Bolger bomb. <laughs> Fanny boys are, are fans are thinking Kayla's got to do more pieces if Bolger's going to piece one up like that at 7-2. It's a heck of a swing there by Jack Bolger. And you see the excitement from the Commodore dugout. Really been putting some good swings on the ball. Hey, guys, you were talking about some Zags fans earlier and how there's a group of them here with Vanderbilt, but then they're going to travel up to Clarksville and they're going to go ahead and take on Austin P on Monday. So. Yeah, I think they're doing Austin P, and then they're going uh, out, out to Utah and playing BYU, so a big trip. And I'll tell you guys, uh, well, maybe I should just start talking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Throw to third, gets by the third baseman there, and things unraveling a little bit here for the Bulldogs. Yeah, my mom was just here last week from Spokane, and... <laughs> and a base hit to left. I cannot. This is hilarious. It's great. Throw to the plate. It was not cut off. Uh, it's just not great communication there. Yeah, I mean, does a fantastic job of just putting the ball in play in a pitch that he can handle. Kind of surprised. The infield was playing back there as Davis almost beat the throw by Miller to first. He did not. It's the second out of the inning, but they concede a run there. I'm a little surprised they didn't go infield in. The run rule is in effect tonight. Full-time uh, Nashville <laughs> resident, grew up here. I have a lot of opinions, but it's always good to get somebody else's opinion as well. Fly ball to right. Boy, that was way into the Nashville night. That's gonna be caught. Stick it in here. One-two pitch. Swung on and missed. Slider at 85. Nastiness from number 98. It was, it was a sight to behold, as that's bounce fair ball. So that was an interesting little shift they had on there, despite how fast Carter's throwing, touching 100 miles an hour plus on the gun. Not holding on Ratfield. 3-2, grounded. Over to second, Davis shifting to his left, over to Maldonado. As we see Ray Velasquez, the sophomore out of Lowell, Massachusetts, who bangs one into left. And the dugout is fired up about that. Velasquez has his first knock of the season. He didn't make a regional last year, but made it in back-to-back -back years in 2021 and 2022 as Vastine hits one out to left. 
It's going to be a big time collision in left center. The play is made by the center fielder and Coop, who goes down. Throughout the day, and I'll walk in and say, oh, I know that guy. Price, Casey Weathers, and a lot of other guys that you probably have heard of and yeah, playing in the major league still. Diving play by Phelan, feeling it there. Banged into right, base hit. Maybe trying to spark something here is Hankins. Second time he's been aboard. He's now one for two with a walk, right? And, and so uh, Carter's a guy they're so excited about. As this is bounced, someone's got to cover first here, and nobody did. Plays a great right field, good outfielder, as he takes a called strike three. It's the third time he's gone down today. One, two. Spikes it in the turf. Espinal could be a play at the plate, trying to make it himself. He applies the tag. All alone was Espinal. Card a little bit late covering home, does it himself. Kayla Anderson would be very proud after her conversation with this guy. What a play. Barcy's father, Scott, played baseball at Northwestern. Bounced up the middle, how about that? A really nice approach there by Barcy. His first career at bat, bangs one up the middle, and yeah, he's gonna smile about it, absolutely. His swing is not you know, just maxing out. He's really just putting the ball in play, and as you see right there, just slapping it all over the park. Scorches one down the line and right. That's gonna bring home Barcy. It is 10 to two, another extra base hit. This is Braden Holcomb, the freshman. 6'4", 257. He could play linebacker here. So he hits one out to center. This is pretty deep off the bat of Holcomb. It's way back, it is gone! The first career hit, the first career home run for Braden Holcomb. And by the way, it looks like, I thought the run rule was in effect. Might not be. So 12-2 Holcomb homers, his first hit as a Vandy boy. And I think that the people that were the most excited about that was the entire Vandy dugout. I mean, you, you heard that ball connect, and that whole dugout just erupted an absolute smash. Fastball up. And the umpires are leaving the field. I think it that's it. Like. All right, well, nobody was sure, and, and, and nobody moved, but it is a walk-off home run. So how about that? I know it's for a 10-run <laughs> rule, but it is a walk-off <laughs> homer, and it's the first hit of his career.